Hey guys, hear what Nigerians are saying, you know. After hearing five sons react as Muslim cleric who called for killing of Tunibu's wife apologize. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Honorable Mohamed Bello Erufai has called for the arrest and persecution of the Muslim cleric who called for the killing of the first lady, Remy Tunubu. The son of the former Kaduna state governor said the cleric should keep his apology to himself. The federal lawmaker stated this while reacting to the viral video of the cleric stating that Tunubu's wife should be killed for being a pastor. Legit NG journalist Ade Kunle also reacted to this. Nigerians, her son has reacted after the Islamic uh, cleric called for the first lady, you know, uh, to be killed by Muslims for being a pastor. He apologized though for the statement. But the lawmaker representing Kaduna North's federal constituency in the House of Representatives said the cleric should keep his apology to himself. He stated this via his ex handle, formerly known as Twitter. B. Erify on Friday, February 23rd. The son of the immediate former governor of Kaduna State, Nasa Erify, is a now deleted tweet. He said security agencies should immediately arrest him and prosecute him. He wrote, he should keep his apology. They should arrest him and prosecute him immediately. Okay. The federal lawmaker stated this while reacting to a video of the Islamic cleric apology shared by an ex-user. Okay, the ex-user also called on the DSS to arrest him immediately why stating that maybe Nigeria should revisit the religious preaching uh, uh, audit of 1984, which was enacted by then the military administrator as suggested by Erufai. Also, Shehusani condemned the Muslim cleric. The former Kaduna State Senator Shehusani also condemned the statement by the cleric and maintained that criticizing the government and its policies is the right of the citizens, but calling for the death of a first lady is utterly unacceptable. In a video that has gone viral shared on X on Wednesday, uh, February 21st, a cleric was held saying the Muslim Muslim ticket that brought President Bola Tenubu to power was a scam. The cleric, whose identity could not be ascertained by Legi Tenji at the time of filing the report, this report therefore availed that the wife of the president, being an infidel, should be put to death as provided for in the Quran. He, however, did not provide any chapter or verse of the Quran to support you know, his claim. Now, not an ass and ass saying what is said is wrong. He should do this and that and that. Okay, make I ask this question. Erufai son hmm, condemned this while tweeting. And he also deleted the tweet. Why did he delete it? If the condemnation is from their hearts. Why do you delete it? He said he should be arrested. His apology should not be accepted. He should be persecuted. And at the same time, the, the tweet was deleted. So why? Why did he delete it? Eh? Why did he delete it? He say, you, you see one thing. I always tell people, you don't play God. If you think that you are smarter than God, God will show you. That is God for you. When you feel that you want to play a smart game with God, God will show you, say, I be God. The cleric was angry now with President Bola Metinubu and uh, the vice president, Kasim Shetima, for their Muslim Muslim tickets. 
you know, they supported this Muslim Muslim ticket of 18, thinking that they are going to take over the country with their Muslim whatever. I asked this question that that first time when they are saying, why is Christian? Christians are complaining about Muslim Muslim tickets. Is there anything wrong with it? It's just about the person, not the religion. So you see, with what they are saying, even Murik said it. The the Muslim Sharia or whatever was the, the other time also called that president Muhammad uh, called that president Bola Metinubu saying that the Muslim Muslim ticket is a scam that they regretted ever voting for Muslim Muslim ticket because not it's not what they expected it's what they are saying the Muslim right concern said. The Muslim Muslim rights, uh, <laughs> please pardon me. The Muslim Muslim tickets now is now favoring the Christian. It's for the Christian, not for Muslims. So I don't really know what they mean. I don't really know what they, they are trying to do. Are they trying to turn Nigeria to one, whatever? It's not fair. It's not fair. Now you people are not crying. You use your hand. Go. Go bush, go fetch firewood. Eh? When ant full. And now they there, the ants they bite you and smoke everything, they complain. And now the same you when go go bush, go fa go fetch the firewood. So you go bear them. Make one not they complain. So instead of you calling for the death of the wife of president because she's a pastor, why can't you caution those people you voted for? Not be sure you vote for now. You understand? If, if not enough, if this condemnation is coming from their heart, may them chest, chest it out like the way they used to do. Uh -huh. May them drag the man out. May them drag the man out because they can do that very well. If not, Christian talk this thing now, say he talk and give Muslim. By now, we for don't know where this matter don't reach. Respect people's religion. You understand respect people's religion we should try to do that just respect everyone's religion calling for someone's death is wrong well nigerians are still waiting there are so many reactions here i'm sorry i cannot take them some people are saying you know barbaric religion so you knew how to react when his father was talking nonsense he did not react people are saying so many things here I'm sorry I cannot take, you know, uh, these reactions for now. So, I beg, how much is this matter? Because this matter, don't they carry leg? Don't they carry hand? You know, they go like that. Maybe here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.